Three, two, one, pour. Hi guys, what's up? I'm going to be making a um, behind the scenes tutorial of how I created this pancake Kodiak commercial. So stay tuned. All right, so these are all the materials I used for my pancake commercial. Um, I decided to buy a few different boxes of batter just in case I made mistakes. And then also used Fairlife whole milk to make my pancakes look a little bit fluffier. The next thing I had to do was create the stack of pancakes that I was gonna be using for the pancake to flip on. Um, so yeah, this was like 30 minutes of my time, but I used milk, so it did make the pancakes turn out a little bit fluffier than if I would have used water. And I think I made like three or four. Look pretty good if you ask me. And once I was done with this, I just put them in the microwave and set them aside while I set up my studio. For my light setup, I used this cheap one that I had from when I first started from like Amazon and then my really nice Godox, um, I think it's an SL300 II with my Octagon um, softbox. I literally went to Walmart and spent $25 on this griddle specifically for this commercial, but I'm sure I'll be using it for other things too. <laughs> This is a view of it while it's cooking. I was trying my best to get the steam from the pancake cooking in my camera, but I just did not like the angles um, that it actually captured it in. So I ended up just going without it for my final shot. Next, we tried to scrape the pancake off of the griddle into the air. And this took a few attempts. Also, if you notice, I am following the pancake with my camera movement um, when it's being flipped up into the air and when it's falling back down. Now we were working on the slow-mo syrup shot. Um, this was also a couple attempts because the little um, paper slip in the syrup bottle was causing it to drip rather than pour. For the final scene, I decorated the plate with um, berries to make it more aesthetically appealing. And then I had my husband slide the Kodiak box into frame 
and then walk around and then pull the plate out of frame. Also guys, the only website I use for music and or sound effects is Soundstripe. They have so many different options for music choices and the sound effects are amazing. That is where I got all of these little sound effects you hear, the scrape of the spatula on the griddle, the bear um, at the end growling, everything. So this is not sponsored by the way. If you guys liked the video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see my weekly ad challenges. Goodbye!